Welcome to the Jim and Jay's Morning Podcast. There you go. That's how I like. I'm to so start excited it. to uh, be in the presence of my partner uh, James E. Welsh and a wonderful guest that we have tonight. And she's a she's a great actress. She's an actress. She's. I'd a like singer. to interrupt you for a moment. I'd like to say a long time friend. Yes. Yeah. We've known each other. We'll get into that a little bit later. How it's been a long. It's been wow. years. Years now. Yeah. yeah. I know. I want to hear all about it. A <laughs> singer, uh, actress, and a model. Give it up, guys, for Natalie Pena. Woo. All right. Hello. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, we're thrilled that you're here today or tonight or this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you finally figured out it's not the morning podcast. Though. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Everybody says, why do you call it morning podcast? Well, <laughs> so I used great. to do this thing called Coffee in the Morning with James. Yeah. I was trying to keep the theme going mm -hmm. and stuff. Aww. But it's kind of funny because um, the first time that uh, Lonnie saw an episode where I wore mm -hmm. the turtleneck, she goes, what's with the Jacques Cousteau? You know, you try to look like Jacques Cousteau. And, um, and then uh, it's kind of funny because it's like 87 degrees out. But I, I, I thought this would look cool. It's um, good, buddy. And I was trying, you know, extra hard to, to look cool. Yeah. And and I know one of your favorite colors is black, probably. Oh, right? yeah, right, I do. Right. So, <laughs> I'm the uh, same. It's, like, hot out, but I always get cold in air conditioner. So. Me too, yeah. Like, you know. I'm, I need it warm and, and toasty. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some people like it cold all the time and keep the air on high, like, you know, I'm talking about. Totally. You know, windows open and stuff. Not me. I got an electric blanket <laughs> in the middle of the summer. Um, so how did you guys, how did you two meet? Well, that's a question you were going to ask, mm -hmm. and I didn't mean to bum no, rush okay. and, and, and jump in there and, and interrupt you, but I'm so good at it. Um, I was in a theater company. I think you came in after me. Yeah. And um, I don't know if I left before or after you. I was there for four years, though. Hard to believe. Right. And it was a while back. But I just don't understand how you're... Going, you, you're aging younger, <laughs> and I'm still. The, you know, the time is marching on for me. I mean, I'm really, honestly, every time I see you on Facebook, Instagram, you just look younger and younger. And now I see you in person, and it's just mm -hmm. like, I don't know what your secrets are, but you should start yeah. a YouTube channel or something uh -huh. on, yeah. on on your skincare <laughs> and your and your whatever you're doing. It's working. Um, but yeah, we had some fun over there. Yeah. I remember um, who did I have on? I had Connie from uh, when you guys did the one act it was Virginia, Connie, and you, and I mentioned that. That was right. a really fun show. Is that Connie so Flores? Fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had Connie on the show, too. Oh, no way. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember the name of it, um, but... Hello I, from Bertha. And was, was it something one? like a New Orleans type thing? Yeah, it was Tennessee Williams. Yes. Oh, wow. I, I oh, was, that it, was so much fun. I'm telling you, I've seen Natalie act in uh, Joe Police's class. Uh -huh. yeah. He's gone. Rest his soul. Yeah. So sad. I don't know. Yeah. But um, you, you did that one scene where I think you were on the phone or something. You were doing your nails and you were just... Like, it was so believable and everything. And I was just thinking, wow, you know, you're, you're just super talented. So um, it doesn't surprise me that, you know, you've, you've worked and, you know, I, I know your talent. So it's good to have you here. Thanks, James. Thank you. That's so awesome. <laughs> now, you're originally from Texas? Yeah. Originally, yeah. Where about? San Antonio? Born in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. nice. A little bit in Austin, raised between both cities. They're pretty close. Like, they're like an hour and a half away mm -hmm. from each other. Um, what are the differences, say, for the listener and the viewership that's never been, what are the differences from uh, the contrast between, I know that Austin is different than San Antonio, but I know that. Yeah. How would you describe it? Between the each? two cities? Yeah. Um, San Antonio definitely has a very Tex-Mex flair. Mm -hmm. um, there's a river walk, you know, mariachi music. It's and beautiful. You know, it's really beautiful, yeah. Um, a lot of Mexican food, Tex-Mex. Um, and Austin is very... Very, um, how do you say? No more <laughs> I don't want to say hippie. Is that even a word anymore? I think it is. Now it's um, a hipster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's got a very hipster vibe so like to it. It's a little Silver Lake. Yeah. And Bohemian. They're yeah, and they're saying it's becoming the new Silicon Valley, actually. What? Tesla moved there. Uh, Elon That's Musk right. has a house right. there. And Joe like, Rogan's there. All these Shout people out are to moving. Joe Rogan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the all these people We're going to get awesome him on now. our show eventually. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, anything's cool possible. We That's got right. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, anything's <laughs> possible. We, we've had some great people. We're going to. Great guests. We have some ideas. We're actually. Tell us what you think. Um, we're thinking of having like a party and getting like a restaurant or something that would maybe sponsor mm -hmm. and we'll just, you know, give them some 
shout outs and advertisement for a while. For sure. And get all the people that have been on the show that we can, because some people won't be available, and have a party and do a podcast from the venue. Oh, so, yeah. you know, it could be a little hole in the wall, you know, a Mexican joint or something, just somewhere where we could have some fun. And we've had um, yeah. Angel Salazar, <laughs> who is in Scarface, and he's a comedian. And we had Mad Mike from Pimp, Pimp Your Ride. Pimp My, Pimp Ride, My yeah. Ride, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we, we, you know, if we get all these different people together, it could be a... It would be a great experience. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. Would be fun. <laughs> the SCO triplets were interesting. They yeah. um, are Brazilian triplets, and they're just like they sound. They're absolutely beautiful Aww. and identical. And, uh, oh, gosh, I hate to not be able to say the name, but I get all their names mixed up. Uh -huh. uh, one of the girls, she's married to uh, Taj, uh, Michael Jackson's nephew, who's yeah. in a band with his brothers called T3. Yeah. I hate myself for not knowing the names. <laughs> for the, the girls? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give me. Let, let's do up, it because up, it's, uh, it's worth it. it they're, is, they're good people. I just mispronounced things, too. Yeah. I know there's Tasia. Yeah. So but, the skull trip. Well, uh, look up uh, Taj Jackson and okay. you'll see his beautiful wife and, and children. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Jimmy had his had a, we had a guitar here, and we wish we had one tonight because we know you yeah. sing and stuff. You sing, you sing for the gods. You yeah. You sing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he started playing uh, "Sweet Child of Mine." Oh, nice. And then the girls started singing it. So we had like it was kind of almost like a cappella, but there was some strumming going on. Jimmy was doing a really he does a great job with Thank the uh, with the guitar playing. He. He sang uh, Tennessee Whiskey with... Uh, Thaisa. Thaisa? Thaisa? Thaisa. Yeah, Thaisa. Oh, wow. I think that, that's her, yeah. yeah. That, that's Thaisa, yeah. Yeah, Thaisa, Thaina, and Thayana. Okay, Thaisa. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thaisa. Interesting yeah. names. Yeah. I just got them a little mixed yeah, up. Brazilian, Brazilian yeah. names, yeah. 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 Um, so Presley Tennant was here. She was on The Voice. She's and, great. And she's a real big deal in the country world, mm -hmm. country western oh, music. Nice. She opened for uh, Tim McGraw. Yeah. So... Jim talked her into um, singing uh, Tennessee. Tennessee whiskey from Chris Stapleton. We did it. Oh, that's and awesome. It's, yeah, uh, it was it was not easy. Yeah. And I and I am gonna be honest because I'm as honest as they come. I I did. <laughs> I I knew that I you know that we we'd have to if I was gonna do that I'd have to like prepare. So I was like at home preparing for it. So it was gonna look like you know off the cuff like actors that we are. And then when I got here, I just said, Hey, should we try it? I'm like, Okay, let me try it. <clears throat> and then it wound it up okay. Because I just kind of knew when to, you yeah, know, no, at the accent nice. and when not to. So Presley yeah. thought Jim had a nice timbre yeah. and his, had a nice, nice. What did she call it? Tone or tone or something? She goes, something? "Hey, you have a great tone." And I'm like, "Jesus Christ, Aww. this has made my day." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, She's really nice. You've done, you've yeah. done some singing. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I more in Texas actually. I had a blues band back in Texas. What? Yeah. Why don't you sing us I a little did. piece of something? I Please, sorry to put you there on the music, spot. Some, some we'll, when she comes back, we'll, 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 we'll prepare. Oh, this that would be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna get you back. Yeah, let's do that. I, lo I love the blues. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And that's a big Texas thing too. Like people out there, yeah. they, a lot of blues bands, country bands, like they do. They do a lot of, especially on Sixth Street in Austin. Like, yeah. it's actually the live music capital of the world. So yeah. My dad, my dad music. was in a in a Tex-Mex band. Oh. My dad loves uh, uh, Little Joey y La Familia. Um, oh. Uh, Selena. 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 I was going to ask yeah. about Selena. Did you love Selena's music when you were growing up? Um, I knew of it. Uh, and yes, I was a fan when she was alive and not uh -huh. really very no well known um, until, you know, she passed away. And then yeah. Jennifer Lopez played her and they did a whole movie. Um, the irony of that, huh? Yeah. Jennifer I, Lopez became a huge star while the other one was laid to rest. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I fell in love with Selena after I saw J-Lo. Um, you know, portray her in the movie, and then I started looking her up and listening to her music. And uh, it's funny, I was out one night with a buddy of mine. We used to go to this place called the Fox Fire down in um, Orange County in Anaheim Hills when I was living down there. And there was like, it was like a lot of older women were in there and everything. And I, you know, I was just like single, but I was kind of over the whole thing. I didn't even want to go out. You know how that gets sometimes, you're just not. And we're out there, and I'm just like a wallflower. And my friend Eater, he's from Ecuador. Um, he's out there dancing with all these different girls and everything. I'm just kind of hanging out and everything. And then all of a sudden, Bitty Bitty Bumba came on. Wow. And I didn't song. care who it was. I was like, you know, hey, let's. And he looks over because he was looking for me to see my reaction when I heard the song. Because I've been playing it like all day at work yeah. and stuff, all of Selena's music. Love it. And uh, 
and I was out there dancing. He was just cracking up. That's he so goes, cool. that got you out there. <clears throat> Selena, so. man, she broke all these barriers, dude. She was just freaking she phenomenal, amazing. prolific. And so are you. Amazing. You have quite a bit of uh, credits here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, had, um, I have, yeah. I even auditioned for that. Mansion of Blood. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. You auditioned for the Selena. Netflix one, yeah. It oh, was, that, it was pretty yeah. good, yeah. yeah. But they picked uh, Christian Serrato. So. Oh, uh, you could have played yeah. her. I see it. Yeah. So I, what's weird is I had auditioned when she had they first done the movie to play her little, as a little girl. Oh. Yeah, back in the day. And um, it went to my friend, Becky Lumesa. And then I don't think she's acting anymore. But then this TV show came. I was like, this is weird. But uh, yeah, wow. I am. I, Selena is like a Texas icon. An icon. <laughs> they have a statue to her in Corpus Christi. Like wow, a national yeah. treasure over there. Thing, Amazing. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> um, so tell us more about the films you've worked on and you know your journey through the acting business and modeling and anything, all things Natalie. Yeah. Um, oh God, it's, a, it's been a long journey. <laughs> well, let me ask you another thing. Um, can, can you say where you work right now? Do you want to plug that or no? Nah, probably not. <laughs> Not a good idea. We don't uh, need people, you know, going there to see yeah, you. But, yeah, that's true. But probably not. Maybe next time we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that more. Yeah, yeah well, we can, we can discuss more of that. It's a pretty cool spot in L.A., that's all we'll say. Well, I mean, oh, we can talk about the, yeah. The bourbon yeah, the room? The bourbon room, yeah, okay. definitely. <laughs> good thing, because you said, <laughs> and I just blurted yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bourbon room. No, it's awesome. Um, it's a very uh, big, if for those you people that are not You better take me there sometime, in, James. Huh? Better take me there sometime. Oh, yeah, sounds, yeah. Sounds We're going to go hang out. And uh, for those that are not familiar with the Hollywood scene, it's one of the hottest spots. You know, I mean, it's a big deal in Hollywood. Kind of like the Roxy and Comedy Store. And, you know, wow. it's right up there with all the, the, the hottest spots to go. Yeah, it's definitely um, a lot of fun. And they wanted to do a very whiskey a go go. Yeah. You know, back in the day, 80 Sunset Strip type uh -huh. of vibe. And, I mean, they have I think they've really achieved it. And the owner, Matt Weaver, and his wife, Hillary, they're awesome. Like, they're good people. And everyone that's invested in that that I've met, they're just, everyone there is just high that's energy, great, yeah. high vibing. And, yeah, they have, like, gold records on the wall, like Black yeah. Sabbath. And well, pictures that. of, like, rare pictures of Blondie and David Bowie. I'm and fanning out like, already. Yeah, I'm a huge yeah, rock fan. Old rocks, really? a rocker vibe. and. Really fun. The and they do, room. like, different shows there. It's not all rock, though, because they'll have, like, you know, Latin night or they'll have... Like Salsa like Night cabaret. or something? Yeah, or singer-songwriter night, even, yeah, like an acoustic kind of thing. Or Yeah. You ready to go? They have reviews, like, yeah. um, for Pride and stuff. They had something going on over there. Yeah, they had a big Pride show with a pretty yeah. big drag queen, um, Trixie Mattel. Okay. Oh, she's, wow. like, huge. Well, she's yeah. on. She was on RuPaul. I think yeah. I might have worked with her. Maybe, yeah. She's, yeah. she's awesome. I think she's, I was on when she was on because... Lonnie did a celebrity drag race, mm -hmm. and I was backstage, and so they did the big reveal where they brought me in after they had her all made up. Vanessa Williams was there, and I can't remember who the other uh, celebrity was. But then one of the girls came over and put a wig on me and a boa, uh -huh. and I just tried to make it cool. But, well, yeah, you know, I mean, I was yeah. having fun with it, making it my own. Where I was trying to do the head banging thing with it. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, but it's a fun clip. Um, where is this located? Here in Hollywood? You're saying yeah, Hollywood? Yeah, they have an Instagram. You can okay, go to the Bourbon Room. Yeah. yeah well, you'll take me there. We'll go check out there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a real, it's a cool place. It's been on my list. I even, I've told you, yeah, I want to get over there, you know, because I see posts from the Bourbon Room uh, Instagram and it's, it's a cool spot. Yeah, a lot, a lot of cool shows and yeah, entertainers very fun. and live music venue and yeah, it's just like, New they have comics too sometimes. I think they've they, had a comedy show there. Yeah. Um, they had a trap, trap poetry night last night. What? Yeah, it was packed. It was like at capacity. The wow. cops and the and the fire uh, department came down because they were gonna like you guys are too 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 many people here, but they managed to kind of like skirt underneath it and figure That's out a way funny. to maybe let some people like out or something. But um, it was awesome. And Rosario Dawson was there, the actress. Oh, wow, and yeah. yeah. It was, there's like a lot, a lot of cool people One of my favorite. getting on stage. <laughs> and, Sounds yeah. like you hang out with very cool people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've met some really cool people definitely through just in my life, though, in general. I've been, right? I feel very fortunate. So what brought you from Texas here? I the met. acting bug? Uh, yeah, I started really young as an actress. Seven years old, right? I was seven, yes. Um, and, 
yeah, professionally, I, I got an agent, and yeah, I did my first feature film when I was like 13, and it had Jay Hernan Hernandez. He was on. Yeah, Jay Hernandez is on, uh, he was on that show. I just got the plug. Yeah. Hawaiian, no, not Hawaiian Five-0. Um, the one with the guy in the, in the Ferrari. How could I forget? I used to drive that guy. Um, I used oh, to drive uh, Magnum P.I. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, he played Magnum P.I. in that show. Oh. Okay, Jay so I haven't Hernandez. seen his recent stuff. Yeah, wow. Right. I know he's been doing like TV shows. And, mm -hmm. But yeah, that was the That's very cool. first thing I ever did. And then I was just, I was obsessed. I was abs absolutely obsessed with acting. And yeah, it's been, it's definitely a journey. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you got formal training through uh, the, the academy. Was there any other schools that you attend or? Um, oh yeah, well, we met Theater 68. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. and then, um, yeah, I, I took some classes with Ivana Chubbuck. Okay. Um, my original teacher, I owe a lot of credit to in Texas, um, Mona Lee, and she's just amazing. She was uh, also a teacher of um, Renee Zellweger when she used wow. to live in Texas, and she was just amazing. And I feel like she, she really helped take me to the next level back then. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm moving to LA because she was like, you need to go out there. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. And yeah, here I am. I never left. <laughs> That's the place to be, really. I mean, yeah. I'm from somewhere else and I can't imagine going back because as much as I miss it, just the um, being able to walk outside and go and be by yourself somewhere because it seems like in LA it's like you got to go find a, a place to hike or something um the trees the you know I, I grew up where there was rivers and lakes and trees you go out fishing with your but I don't know if I can handle that slow pace anymore yeah, yeah. I don't think so and mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to deal with the winters I don't know what the winters are like Ouch. in Texas probably not too bad not as bad they, they can be hot but I get it the slow yeah. pace is a slow pace is what it is. I mean, <laughs> everybody's just, you know, really laid back. And, you know, out here, there's just so much going on. I just love L.A. I'm an Orange County guy, but. O.C., I baby. Yeah. yeah, I grew up there. <laughs> That's where I spent most of my adult life. And I've only been in L.A. for about f six years now. I'm jealous of James in a good way. I always tell him, man, I wish I would have grown up in the O.C. Because I was such a skater, a skateboard. Oh, uh, Yeah. Tony yeah. Hawk and yeah, he grew up around there. all that. Wow, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, awesome. yeah, down Newport. Well, I, we we were poor. My mom worked at Kmart. My dad was a house painter, and you know we actually lived in this uh, this studio, the one bedroom apartment that was built over a garage, and uh, behind my aunt and uncle's house, and we lived in Costa Mesa, but we were right on the line of Costa Mesa and Newport Beach. Wow. So my aunt, I would say aunt because where I come from, but everybody out here says aunt. So I just say aunt. They would they have like aunt's a little uh, an aunt, you know, <laughs> not my aunt. My son says aunt also. Yeah, yeah, but but anyway, aunt aunt was really like meddling and stuff, and said he can go to Newport Harbor High School because he lives on the line. He's in both school districts, and I would have probably been better off over at Costa Mesa High. But I ended up by going to um, Newport Harbor with like John Wayne's son and That's so like cool. celebrities, I didn't know that. you know, kids, and they were all had you know brand new cars when they were sixteen. And the funny thing is, is um, I used to uh, come home and I was kind of bummed out because I'd say, you know, they got ter terry cloth shirts and velour shirts, and I I'm wearing these old T-shirts and stuff. So my mom worked at Kmart. She thought she was doing a good thing, and she would bring me home these fake. Terry cloth and fake velour. It was Aww. worse than the T-shirts, you know. Aww. It's designer stuff that these kids were wearing. But I did okay. I met some friends, and they lived down at the beach, so I'd always be down there hanging out in the water and, you know. Awesome. Very cool, huh? Orange County. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Then um, Gwen Stefani's from there. Yeah. Oh. She's one of my favorites, too. She's yeah, awesome. she's, she's fantastic. So Jimmy, you got a few questions uh, yeah, there I do. in your I do. computer. I, I I do actually. I was just, I mean, uh, I don't know. Like once you get like lost in the Orange County, I, I, it's hard <laughs> to get bring you back. I love Orange County. Um, more ways than one. But no, let's uh, ask you regarding. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to put you in a box, so, so to speak. Okay, but okay. I know a lot of people. You identify obviously as a Latina American. You know, Tex Mex, right? Maybe definitely. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. so. Who were your like um, 
uh, you know, like we had Rita Moreno. We had in the olden days. Uh, who who were the ladies that you looked up to, um, artist wise? Artist wise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I did sing mariachi at one point, okay. and actually, it was you know who Lola Beltran is. Sure. Okay. She was like everything yeah. to me. Yeah. She was so passionate in her uh-huh. music, and yeah. I have like a lower. Um, Timber like it like in my voice, so sure. it's like everyone would kind of compare me when I would be like, "Oh, you're like Lola Beltran or Linda yeah. Ronstadt sure. too." I love like Linda from Ronstadt. back in the day. Yeah, it was like that these was classic our, people. That was yeah. our people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Linda Ronstadt. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Definitely. There's not anything she couldn't play, and sorry to cut no, you. No, nothing she could ever sing. Anything blues, Linda yeah. Ronstadt. rock. I mean, wow. Yeah, she was amazing. Um, Chills, man, running through my yes. Linda Ronston. Yeah, when I would sing. So those were the people that I would hear, you know, a lot of people that would listen to me in, in Texas when I would sing. And yeah, so um, definitely them. Um, and, and film, like acting wise, is totally different. Like yeah. I was always a huge. Well, because like, we're American. Yeah. But I get it. Yeah, yeah. I never watched a lot of um, novelas? Spanish, you know, novela. I did know of like, um, what's her name? She's like a classic Mexican. Oh, yeah, Maria movie. Felix. Felix. Yeah, she's, she's like so the, amazing, yeah. She's the equivalent of Elizabeth Taylor. Oh. You, you go Mexico. to Mexican restaurants and you see this lady with these fine yeah. eyebrows. Uh-huh. Yeah, they were, her eyebrows her. were like, and yeah. she's just very, I like it. Uh-huh. Um, so she's, I remember hearing about her, like classic movie, classic, you know, Mexican movie stars. Um, but yeah, I didn't watch a lot of Mexican cinema, even Texas, right. you know. Um, so You ever see a movie called Chasing Pappy? I have. Well, I've heard of it. I didn't that was see it. One of it. my favorite movies. Really? Uh, so- Sophia Vergara. Yeah. Oh, she's Rosario, awesome. uh, and uh, was, was the guy from like? Was the guy from that movie? Uh, Paul uh, Blart, Freddie right? Prince Jr. I think is in it. Who? Isn't oh, yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. in that? I think so. Yeah. But it's a cute movie. It's so funny because he's dating all three of them at the same time or something, mm-hmm. and they're all just knockout Latina supermodel. Yeah. Just you know and. The what ensues from that uh-huh. Latin passion and temper and you know it was it's a great movie I just love it it's that's one awesome. of my favorites I'll have to watch it I remember seeing it's a fun the for a <laughs> night just to hang out and just you know throw an old movie on that one's always always a good one to go to. for sure a good go to oh yeah um, did you so um, you you mentioned. A lot. Who, how, how about just in general? Like, uh, who did you, who were your, um, you know, uh, for girls or ladies or men that inspired you to act? That I look well. You honestly, look um, I was just so inspired by like Julia Roberts or yeah. women that were just le- leading ladies that were just they could kind of infuse a theater with you know mm-hmm. happiness or like just mm-hmm. by looking at them. You know, it's like I, I just yeah. She inspired me. Um, also, actresses that were very like. Could play any type of role, like you know Meryl Streep. Oh, yeah. You know, pe- like just they could uh, become chameleons. I love that, mm-hmm. like to be able to just turn into something else. You know, because you're a lot like that yourself. I mean, you could be a <laughs> singer, be Spanish, English, yeah. then you're an actress, and it's just you know, it's fantastic. Yeah, I I feel like a chameleon a lot. James and I are chameleons too. <laughs> yeah, <Good off>. acting, <laughs> sure, Podcast. podcasting. Yeah. Um, what else uh, do we I love <laughs> Meryl Streep and The Devil Wears Parada. Yeah. I think that's oh, yeah. when it was kind of like, I mean, of course, there's Sophie's Choice and The mm-hmm. Deer Hunter and all right. these wonderful, great, wow, you know, fantastic Hunter. movies that she was in. But when I saw her play Miranda Priestley or whatever her name is, that was it for me. That I was, was like, that woman can do anything. Yeah. Uh, I just loved her in that, you know. But... Um, You've, um, what about modeling? I mean, you've done a lot of modeling. You've, you've probably, you know, you've probably done some, like, you've been on, like, magazines and magazine stuff, like some some pretty big, you're pretty, you're kind of like, you do really well with it. I know you, you're very photogenic. And Thank you. Yeah, I, I kind of segued into it. Um, it. I'm very liberal in my thinking, in my beliefs. Uh, but also, I, I look, think of it as an art form. Me too. In itself, yeah. yeah and um, I just feel so free. And, and you know, when, when I get with a photographer and we have a vision and, you know, they're able to um, kind of bring that to life. And sure. it's the same kind of like, like as an actor, you know, mm-hmm. you bring your vision to life with a movie. Same with a photograph, you know, like a picture is worth 
um, a thousand words a thousand kind words, of thing. Yeah. yeah, and I just I love that. Um, the coolest thing though, like most recently, was when I did. I just decided to do the cosplay for Vampirella out of the blue. I've See, never done cosplay like before. That. I love wow. that. Yeah, it was so random, and I I found a really cool picture online of this artist um, who's pretty known. I guess he does a lot of comic book covers. Um, and I tagged him, and he just loved my rec recreation so much that mm -hmm. he was like, I'm going to call the comic book company, and we're going to put you on the cover. Exactly. And That's so, yeah, what I was thinking about. I did, yeah. It was I a did. big deal. Do you have, like, do you cool. have an NFT or anything like that yet? I don't. You should. Everyone says I should. I have the rights to that picture, actually. There you go. Um, but it, it was a very limited edition, although I think it's back online. I checked recently, and I think they're selling it again. They didn't tell well, me. You but <laughs> listen to me like I know what I'm talking about. Like, I know what <laughs> NFTs yeah, are. Yeah, you're and like, well, you've like, got to get you. <laughs> We're, we are actually. We have our own NFT, right, buddy? Well, I think we're going to make it into an NFT, but um, it's right here. It's this uh, goofy thing. So funny. Um, the little See? logo. Oh, it's our cool. NFT. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I was talking to someone the other night that was giving me pointers, uh, pointers on why she thinks mine doesn't look like me, because Jim's is dead on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and the artist yeah, wants to get it right, and he he re, he did a re redo yeah. on it, so yeah. he didn't mind doing that. And I might have him take one more crack at it and give him some of this advice because he has my hair, so you don't really see much of a forehead. Yeah. And I think yeah. if he gave me more of a forehead, it and a I looked more stoned like out of my mind, like yeah. I just took like seventeen bong hits, and that was a better <laughs> reference for it to sound more cool. But you know. I just, but I look really high or something because my eyes are kind of mm. close. So I think if he opened my eyes up a little bit and gave me more forehead. And I'm the one that has the stoner eyes. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, I think Jim looks great. This is kind of a small picture. Yeah. It's oh, hard to I see. see. Doesn't oh, it look yeah. just like yeah. Jim? Oh, yeah, that's great. Look, uh -huh. But I just don't know about, you know. I can maybe, see you in that. Yeah, uh, caricature. Yeah, my mom you know? used to say the yeah. camera doesn't lie. So oh. I guess a character doesn't really yeah. lie much either. <laughs> Right. But, um, yeah. Is there anything you want to promote or anything you want to tell us about, bef you know, before we wrap up? Yeah, I'm well, I just like I was telling uh, James, I was doing um, it's kind of like a Star Wars fan film That's now. So cool. I just yeah, a friend of mine's a director, actually, and he just kind of got me in on it. You know, um, I have felt like being a Latina in Hollywood and particularly not like pencil skinny and mm -hmm. like, you know, I. I'm pretty proud of having curves, you know? So it's like, but I feel like as an actress, it's kind of pigeonholed me in being like, I've been cast as a stripper so much and this and that. And I don't, I'm not against it, but it's really cool that, you know, I have a friend that, friends that can see me in other roles and, yes. you know, and um, it, the, that's not all I've played. I'm not saying, no, but, but yeah, but you know, it happens it a lot. Works. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's good casting, but I've seen yeah. you act and I've seen what you can bring to a role. So I would love to see you do, of, you know, as a wide variety of things. I mean, we're not just yeah. uh, maids and strippers I and know, yeah. gangbangers, right? <laughs> I know, no more. Like, I, um, so my friend, um, Johnny Tisa, actually, he's gonna put it on, you know, the web and stuff Very like that. Cool. Thank you, too. We're gonna promote it. Um, but, uh, he, I'm a female Mandalorian in oh, this. Wow. Like, yeah, and, <laughs> wow. uh, he's playing like, a, like, um, my husband, and he's a Mandalorian, and we're just doing this whole kind of spin-off film and to see that. it looks yeah. really good like I'll i'm really so we, he built a whole set for it and that's great yeah, he's, yeah it's looking really good so that's gonna be online soon and i can't wait to share that because it's so well, different it's something congratulations. different than I, thank when you. that comes out you come back on and we'll talk about that and all the and other stuff that we didn't get to talk about tonight definitely and we'll pump it out i, I love this the was first so fun, episode yeah. sometimes you know we just get warmed up <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the next Breaking one the we really start <laughs> gripping getting into some stuff that uh and talk about that film. We'll talk about the stereotypes and all that. Get really delve into it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. I agree. <laughs> this I mean, is it's not, great. we got a couple more minutes, so um, this is fun. I'm really glad. I've been wanting to get you on, you know? Yeah. And I've been looking forward to seeing you again. And, um, well, you know, I remember I saw, I, we spent some time in Theater 68, probably been on stage together doing improv or whatever. I know we were in the one acts together, different plays. I was in Home is Where the Hooker is. I don't know if oh. you remember that with Caroline, where Timmy was Crazy. my son. Oh. And uh, I say, you know, this is your new mom, because he was off at camp. And he's like, what? And I go, well, what happened? We were in an alley, and we were getting robbed, and, you know, your mom got stabbed and died. So this hooker, Trixie... Uh, came home with me, and I'm, you know, she's your new mom now. She's here to. So, it was so dumb, 
But it was really funny. As a matter of fact, I just kind of ruined it because it wasn't. <laughs> it, it's, it was much better than I made it sound. <laughs> um, but it was a it was a it was a great one act play, and that was in the same festival. I think it might have been a different one because they used to do them every year or so. Yeah. But then we were in Joe's class together for, for a short time. I wasn't there that long. Yeah, um, same. Yeah. Same. And um, then when I ran into you at the uh, Scandal audition, that was such a cool moment because it was like, hey, I'm auditioning for Scandal. And you were like, yeah, so am I. It's like, you were nonchalant. Like, you go out for those things all the time. <laughs> yeah. It was a big deal for me because I, I wasn't getting big auditions like that. But, um, yeah, it was fun, you know. Very cool. Yeah, it becomes, it's funny, L.A. is such a big city, but the longer you're here, smaller it, becomes. it becomes like a small town. You start seeing everybody over funny, and over again. <laughs> funny thing happened to me. Uh, we were having the haunted house over there at 68. Those are the good old days. Oh, yeah. And um, Ronnie wanted me to, and I can't remember who, one of the other guys in the theater, maybe it was Ryan Paul James or something, to run over to Danny Sestone's and pick up something for the haunted house. And Angela was there, his former wife, Angela Papulo. She's a very talented girl. I was in a play with her, too. Um, and she goes, oh, no, uh, Danny's in New York. And uh, I said, oh, it's funny. I'm going out there Wednesday, you know, for a week or so. She said, oh, I think he's coming back, like, you know, Thursday or something. I don't know. So I'm in New York City, and I'm getting off a bus in, like, downtown, you know, near Times Square or Manhattan, somewhere, and somebody grabs me by the arm, and you know, in New York, somebody grabs you. You look like hey, you're yeah, watching out. You yeah, don't know what's sure. gonna, you don't know what's happening, yeah. right? You know, and it's Danny Sestone, and he acts like no it's way. nothing. Hey, man, what's happening? Like, hey, dude, what's <laughs> wow. going on? And I'm like, fucking. You all startled. What you like, like, what's going yeah, on? It's like, city. dude, yeah. how did I run into you here in the middle of New York City? He goes, oh, wow. oh yeah, you know, I've been here for a few days. I'm going back tomorrow. I'll see you. Have a good, t you know. And uh, I told Ronnie about it, and you know, Ronnie's like. Yeah, you know, uh, big city, small world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so true. So that's my story for the for the <laughs> evening. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> who is Danny? The one that builds the, the yeah. small. Yeah. Does he build the miniature stuff now, or who? There's somebody from Theater Sixty. Mm. He builds like miniature. Oh, it might be Joe. Sets. Joe Dallow does some of that I stuff too, and he was on. Yeah, we had to watch that yeah. episode. So cool. That was one of David's favorites. He the said. big question: Have yeah. you subscribed to our podcast? I I promise when I go home, I'm going to do it. Immediately. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, um, <laughs> we're so happy you're. But came Danny on. <laughs> was in uh, a show. I was when I was another time. I was in New York. He was in an off Broadway show called Groovaloo. And it was all like um, break dancing and stuff, and it had like all glow in the dark, the set and everything. And he designs all the sets and everything. It was amazing. Danny Sistone is a very well get Danny on too. Yeah. He's very yeah. very talented. A lot of people from Theater sixty eight were. Amazing. Do you see any of those people anymore? Uh, haven't in a while. I mean, Jeremy Luke. You know, yeah, have you had him. him on? Like he's awesome too. Yeah, we had him like, on yeah. our first episode with guests with he's Paul cool. Tully, and um, Danny. Griola or something Griola, like that. Yeah. Um, but they were in a movie called um, uh, Replica. Yeah. That was a play that Paul wrote and then had it made into a movie and Ricky Mickey Rourke was in it. Oh. So that was kind of a cool story, the way he went through that and Jeremy was there and they all took turns talking. There's about five guys there. And um, and he's going to come back on. We're just I'm having trouble getting him scheduled too because things keep coming up. But okay, yeah. yeah, well, awesome. it's been great, and it's I'm really nice. happy that Thanks. you could come by and reminisce. Yeah. Yes, yes, I loved it. I thank you for having me on and asking me. And yeah. I'm well, I'll be bugging you to happy. come back on again soon. I'm Part so two. down. I'm thank so you. down. All right. Sure. Well, Thanks you guys, again, be sure and subscribe. Natalie yes. Pena, thank and you. Thank you. <laughs>